Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to automatically generate alphanumeric serial numbers for records in a consecutive order based on user's input. Alphanumeric serial numbers are a combination of alphabetical and numeric characters you can assign to a record. Such serial numbers may be required for different business requirements such as generating employee IDs, order numbers, confirmation codes, and for a whole bunch of other needs. Let's see how to create alphanumeric employee IDs for different employee types in an employee management app. The screen we see now is the add employee form to add or update employee information. We have a single line field for the employee ID and a drop down field for selecting the employee type. There are three types of employees, intern, contract and permanent employees. Let's create a workflow to generate the employee ID based on the selection made in the employee type field. First. Let's add an additional single line field to the add employee form and name it temp ID. We have added this field to populate the generated alphanumeric value which will later be modified and populated in the employee ID field. Let's make the temp ID field visible only to the admin as this field would be inappropriate for the end users. Next, let's create a form workflow to generate the alphanumeric values. From the editor, create a workflow to run on a form event. Choose the form on which we want to run the workflow. In our case, it is the Add Employee form. Choose the workflow to run when a record is created. The workflow should be triggered on the input of the user. We choose this option as we want the workflow to be executed after the user selects an employee type. Next, choose the Employee Type field. Give a name and proceed to create the workflow. Click on Add New Action. The Dilute Script Builder will open. We need to define the script here. The logic is to fetch the records of the latest entry made on the selected employee type, add the relevant alphabets and numbers based on the selection, and then display the value in the employee ID field. First, let's fetch the value selected in the employee type field and get the latest entry made on the selected employee type. To do that, let's use the fetch record task. Declare a variable selection equals, choose the add employee form, type employee type equals Input dot employee type sort by added time DESC range from 1 to 1. Semicolon. Here we fetch all the records of the employee type chosen and we sort those records in descending order of the added time. We type from 1 to 1 to get only the first record from the sorted records. Next, we need to assign alphabetical values to the employee types. To do that, let's use the if condition. Type Input dot employee type equals inter. Declare a variable prefix equals int semicolon. Here we assign the alphabetical value int as prefix if the selected employee type is inter. Let's continue to write the code for assigning the alphabetical values to other employee types as well. To do that, let's use the else if condition. The else if condition gets executed if the previous if condition is not met. Type input dot Employee type equals contract. Prefix equals con. Semicolon. Here, we assign the alphabetical value con as prefix if the selected employee type is contract. Next, let's use the else condition. Type prefix equals perm. Semicolon. Here, the else condition will get executed if the previous conditions are not met. That is, the alphabetical value PERM will be assigned as the prefix for the remaining employee type, which is the permanent employee type. Now, we have to add another set of conditions. One has to get executed if there are previous entries already made for the selected employee type. And the other has to get executed if there are no entries made on the selected employee type. Let's add the first condition now. Use the IF condition and type selection.count open bracket, close bracket, greater than 0. Declare a variable number equals selection dot, choose the field in which the generated employee ID should be populated, get suffix, open bracket, hyphen, close bracket, semicolon. Declare another variable new number equals number dot, to decimal, open bracket, close bracket, plus 1, semicolon. Input dot temp ID equals prefix plus hyphen plus new number semicolon. Here in the 14th line, 
we have set a condition specifying that if the record stored in the selection variable is greater than 0, the action specified in the 16th, 17th and 18th lines of code will get executed. In the 16th line of code, we get the suffix of hyphen from the temp ID field from the selection variable and then we store it in the variable number. Although the suffix of the hyphen is a numeric value, it is sorted in the variable number as a string value. In the 17th line of code, we convert that string value to numeric value using the two decimal function and we add 1 to it to generate the consecutive series. In the 18th line of code, we combine the prefix of the chosen employee type, hyphen and the new suffix that is stored in the new number variable. Now, we have specified the condition and action that has to happen when there are previous entries made on the selected employee type. Next, let's move on to specify the action that has to happen when no entries are made on the selected employee type. To do this, let's use the else condition. Type input dot temp id equals prefix plus hyphen plus one semicolon. Here, the prefix of the chosen employee type is combined with the hyphen and the number one to populate the temp id field. Now, we had defined the dilute script to generate the alphanumeric values based on the employee type, but we still got one last step to do. That is, to remove the hyphen from the generated alphanumeric value and display the hyphenless alphanumeric value in the employee ID field. To do that, type final value equals input dot temp ID dot remove open bracket hyphen close bracket semicolon. Input dot employee ID equals final value semicolon. Here, in the 24th line, we use the dot remove function to remove the hyphen from the value displayed in the temp ID field and store it in the final value variable. In the next line, we populate that value into the employee ID field. Click save. Let's see how this dilute script works in real time. As you can see, the employee ID field is automatically populated with alphanumeric values in a sequential order along with their corresponding prefixes depending on the chosen employee type. Similarly, you can create alphanumeric serial numbers in a consecutive order for your unique business requirements. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.